Hey guys, so I'm going to do my six and seven week update because I didn't do one last week. There was just a lot going on and yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I am pregnant and we were under threat miscarriage, but we've been cleared because we got to see the baby's heartbeat and I have not had any spotting since the day I went to the ER. So we've been cleared of that and yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so basically for symptoms... Um, I have had really sore boobs. <laughs> um, they, w they kind of went away in, in the first, like, six week, but in the last couple days, they are definitely, uh, back. They're definitely sore again. Um, I've heard that they'll go away, but they only went away for a little bit and then they came back, so I'm not sure. It, it's every... It, it's different every day, but, and they're definitely, um, larger than normal. <laughs> um, I'm already big busted, but <laughs> there's a difference. Um, let me think. Oh, I have been so tired. Like, it's ridiculous. I can sleep 12 hours and still want to sleep. Like, I don't even know. I've... I don't think I've ever been this tired in my life, because I'm pretty good about getting up, but... Oh, not lately. Not lately at all. Oh. And then... I have... Had some nausea, but I haven't puked yet. And I was kind of worried, um... But then I looked it up online, and I was watching a lot of videos on YouTube today. And, um... It's normal, I guess, um... Early on. Uh to not puke and some people just never puke um I, I'm on this um group on Facebook like a lake or like I don't know it's like um around my county it's like mothers and I asked you know did anybody not puke like ever in their pregnancy and quite a few like four or five women on there said that they never puked so I'm not really that worried about it, and I've definitely gotten nauseous. So um, yesterday I did like kind of like dry heave, but I didn't puke. Um, and it seems to be like I can eat breakfast, and before I couldn't really eat lunch, like I just didn't want lunch. But now I can eat breakfast, and I can usually eat lunch. But when it comes dinner time, I have to force myself to eat. Um, just because I get so nauseous, um, right around like 4 or 5 o'clock, and I don't know why, I just do, and it's just really weird, and then I've had a lot of, like, food aversions, like, I really like chocolate, which is funny, because I'm not, a, like, a huge chocolate person, I usually am right before my period, so I'm guessing it's just, like, hormones, but, yeah, chocolate, and, uh, Kind of pickles, which actually I have right here. Um, <laughs> kind of pickles once in a while. Um, nothing, banana peppers have been sounding really good these last couple days. But um, nothing like major. Um, mainly, my aversions to foods are like negative. <laughs> like, I have to really like want something to eat it. And it's kind of annoying because then if I don't have it at home, if I don't have something at home that I want to eat, I won't eat. Like, like I can, I will eat something, but I really don't want it. Like, I don't know. Because I have to, like, pack my lunch for work, so I, like, look around and I'm like, there's nothing here that sounds good. Everything sounds so gross. And, like, uh, last week when I'd open the fridge, I would have to, like, just get in there and get what I wanted, or I'd look around and be, like, like, sick to my stomach. Like, it's so strange. Um, I've, you know, I've, <laughs> I mean, I'm on the bigger side. I've never really had problems, like, eating. I mean, I've never really, I don't really overeat, which is why, um, I'm not sure why I'm overweight. I think it has something to do with, uh, being on asthma steroids when I was younger, but I've never had problems eating. Um... Because I just came off Weight Watchers before I got... Well, I just came off Weight Watchers um, just when I got pregnant. Because obviously you can't be on a diet when you're pregnant. Um, so, I did lose some weight, but I don't know. I've never had problems <laughs> eating, and it's so weird. Um, and then another 
symptom. I'm trying to think. I can't really think of it right now, but I don't know. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for symptoms. And I've kind of been, like, emotional, like, a little bit. Like, my husband got switched to nights, and when he leaves, I get, like, so upset. Like, I don't know why, um, but nighttime, I, like, it's just, I get, like, so lonely and, like, so, like, down. Like, I don't understand why, but I guess it's just probably hormones and whatnot, but, um, I'm going to go get, um, we had an ultrasound last week um my doctor said he he assumes i'm about six weeks last week um but he couldn't measure the baby yet because um it was just like not big enough and you could just see the heartbeat so he said next appointment he will measure and give me an exact due date but as of now um on my app it says may 2nd 2015 which is funny because that's my birthday um but I'm guessing I'm seven weeks just because of, um, like, the symptoms, and I don't know. I'm somewhere around seven weeks, so um, I'm going to go get our ultrasound picture real quick. Okay, so um, this is our ultrasound. It's in a frame, so, because this is, like, for your first ultrasound. Um, this wasn't actually my first ultrasound. My first ultrasound was at the ER, but all they saw was the sac, so we couldn't see the baby yet. So technically, this is my first ultrasound of the baby. Um, it's really hard to tell, but um, especially because of the glare. But right here is the gestational sac, or the amniotic. Eventually, it'll be the amniotic sac. Um, I mean, it is the amniotic sac, but you understand what I mean. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it very good. But down here you see a lot of gray and that's the oak sac and then underneath that gray um, was where the heart was beating. So baby is um, toward the bottom of the sac and then the oak sac is just a little further up than the baby. So that was really cool to be able to see the baby. Um, he said at my next ultrasound, which is not this coming Wednesday, but the next, I will be... I just turned seven weeks yesterday, so te as far as I know. So I should be eight. No? Yeah, I should be eight weeks, like eight and a half weeks. And he said that we will be able to see like a body and little like um, nubs, <laughs> like arms, legs, and a head. Um, and then he'll actually be able to measure and give us an exact due date. Not that it might not change, but. And I think we should be able to hear the heartbeat, um, unless he has to do it transvaginally. So, yeah. Um, baby is the size of a blueberry. Um, I tried to get, like, kind of an average blueberry. I think this is about average. I don't know. I think baby might be... I don't know. Like, I guess it'd be about that big, but it just seems... That seems big to me, <laughs> like... It's so funny because it's so small, but it seems big. But, I mean, looking at this picture, it just seems huge because, I don't know. It just seems so big because this picture is so small. It's not obviously real life, but it seems big. But that was a week ago almost, so. That blueberry away, and um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and do my belly shot. Okay, guys, so I am quite bloated right now, so this is not baby, and I'm already a little bit overweight, so do not think this is all baby because it's not. Um, so there's from the side, and it's getting really hard, like right in here. So there's from the side. And from the front, and from the other side. So, I don't think, you know, I'm showing it all yet, but I'm definitely bloated. That's for sure. 
So, I think that's all to update you guys on, other than I one thing I forgot is my doctor did put me on baby aspirin and um, progesterone, and then I'm obviously taking prenatal. So, yep, that is all I can think of for this pregnancy vlog. Um, I'm sorry that I've been looking like crap in all my videos, but I've been feeling like crap, so usually that... Um, in fact, that's how I look, and that's usually how I feel. So, yeah, uh, I'll talk to you guys next week um, sometime. So, bye, guys. Well, actually, I will be talking to you guys um, probably the day after my ultrasound, just so I have um, the picture to show you. So, yep, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.